chronic pancreatitis causes and prevention chronic pancreatitis is a long term progressive inflammatory disease of the pancreas that leads to permanent breakdown of the structure and function of the pancreas the pancreas is a gland organ that is located in the abdomen behind the stomach and below the rib cage it specializes in production producing important enzymes and hormones that help break down and digest foods it also makes insulin to moderate the levels of sugar in the blood the most common cause is long term alcohol abuse it is thought to account for between 70 to 80% of all cases chronic pancreatitis results in over 122000 visits to a doctor and 56000 hospitalizations annually in the united states significantly more men than women are affected symptoms common signs and symptoms of chronic pancreatitis include severe upper abdominal pain that can sometimes travel along the back and is more intense following a meal nausea and vomiting more commonly experienced during episodes of pain as the disease progresses the episodes of pain become more frequent and severe some patients eventually suffer suffer constant abdominal pain as chronic pancreatitis progresses and the ability of the pancreas to pro- produce digestive juices deteriorates the following symptoms may appear smelly and greasy stools bloating abdominal cramps flatulence eventually the pancreas may not be able to produce insulin at all leading to type 1 diabetes which can produce the following symptoms thirst frequent urination intense hunger weight loss tiredness blurred vision causes chronic pancreatitis is usually a complication of recurrent episodes of acute pancreatitis this can lead to permanent damage in the pancreas acute pancreatitis is caused when trypsin becomes activated within the pancreas trypsin is an enzyme that is produced in the pancreas and released into the intestines where it breaks down proteins as part of the digestive system trypsin is inactive until it has reached the intestines if trypsin becomes activated inside the pancreas it will start to digest the pancreas itself leading to irritation and inflammation of the pancreas this becomes acute pancreatitis alcohol misuse alcohol can cause a process which triggers the activation of trypsin inside the pancreas as can gallstones people who misuse alcohol and develop acute pancreatitis tend to have repeated episodes and eventually develop chronic pancreatitis the repeated bouts of acute pranc- pancreatitis eventually take their toll on the pancreas causing permanent damage which then becomes chronic pancreatitis this is also known as alcoholic chronic pancreatitis idiopathic chronic pancreatitis when a disease is idiopathic it has no known cause or reason idiopathic chronic pancreatitis accounts for most of the remaining cases most cases of idiopathic chronic pancreatitis develop in people aged 10 to 20 years and those aged over 50 years nobody is certain why other age groups are rarely affected the spink1 and the cftr genes types of mutated genes exist in about 50% of patients with idiopathic chronic pancreatitis 
these genetic mutations may undermine the functions of the pancreas other much rarer cases include autoimmune chronic pancreatitis in which the person's own immune system attacks the pancreas heredity pancreatitis or patients have a genetic condition and are born with a faulty pancreas cystic fibrosis another genetic condition that damages organs including the pancreas diagnosis there are no reliable tests to diagnose, diagnose chronic pancreatitis a doctor will suspect the disease because of the patient's symptoms history of repeated acute pancreatitis flare ups or alcohol abuse blood test may be useful in checking the blood glucose levels which may be elevated blood test for elevated levels of amylase and lipase are not reliable at this stage amylase and lipase blood levels rise during the first couple of days of pancreatitis and then settle back to normal after 5 to 7 days a patient with chronic pancreatitis would have had the disease for much longer doctors need to have a good look at the pancreas in order to diagnose the disease properly this will most likely involve an ultrasound scan high frequency sound waves create an image on a monitor of the pancreas and its surroundings a ct scan x-rays are used to used to take many pictures of the same area from several angles which are then placed together to produce a 3d image the scan will reveal changes of chronic pancreatitis magnetic resonance cholangio pancreatography or mrcp scan this scan shows the bile and pancreatic ducts more clearly than a ct scan an endoscopic retrograde cholangiography cholangio pancreatography or ERCP scan an endoscope is inserted into the digestive system the doctor uses ultrasound to guide the endoscope through patients with chronic pancreatitis have an elevated risk of developing pancreatic cancer if symptoms worsen especially the narrowing of the pancreatic duct doctors may suspect cancer if so they will order a ct scan mri scan or endoscopic study complications and prevention there are several ways in which chronic pancreatitis can develop and become more harmful to person's well-being stress anxiety and depression the disease may have an effect on the patient's psychological and emotional well-being constant or recurring pain which is often severe may cause distress anxiety irritability stress and depression it is important for patients to tell their doctors if they are emotionally or psychologically affected if there is a support group in your area being able to talk to people who share the same condition may help you feel less isolated and more able to cope pseudocyst this is a collection of tissue fluid debris pancreatic enzymes and blood in the abdomen caused by leakage of digestive fluids escaping from a faulty pancreatic duct pseudocysts do not usually cause any health problems however sometimes they can become infected cause blockage to part to the intestine or rupture and cause internal bleeding if this happens the cyst will have to be surgically drained pancreatic cancer even though pancreatic cancer is more common among patients with chronic pancreatitis the risk is only 1 in 500 
Prevention Patients with acute pancreatitis significantly reduce their risk of developing chronic pancreatitis if they give up drinking alcohol. This is especially the case of patients who drink heavily and regularly. Diet Taking dietary measures to reduce the effects of pancreatitis are vital. The pancreas is involved in digestion but pancreatitis can impair this function. This means that people with the disease will have difficulty digesting many foods. Rather than three large meals a day, people with pancreatitis will, will be advised instead to consume six small meals. It is also better to follow a low-fat diet. Managing the diet during pancreatitis aims to achieve four outcomes. Reducing the risk of malnutrition and shortages of certain nutrients. Avoiding high or low blood sugar. Managing or preventing diabetes, kidney disease and other complications. Decreasing the likelihood of an acute flare-up of pancreatitis. A diet plan will either be drawn, drawn up by the doctor or the patient may be referred to a qualified dietitian. The plan is based on the current levels of nutrients in the blood shown in diagnostic testing. Meal plans will generally involve food sources that are high in protein and have dense nutritional content. These are likely to include whole grains, vegetables, fruits, low-fat dairy products and lean protein sources such as boneless chicken and fish. Fatty, oily or greasy foods should be avoided as this can trigger the pancreas to release more enzymes than usual. As a primary cause of chronic pancreatitis, alcohol is, is also best avoided while on a pancreatitis friendly diet. Depending on the extent of the damage, patients may also have to take artificial versions of some enzymes to aid digestion. This will ease blotting, make their feces less greasy and foul smelling and help any abdominal cramps.